Alright, I had some comments about putting a video in Dutch on YouTube, so now I'm going to do it in English. I'm going to create this assembly. You can download the assembly from GrabCAD. If you search for universal joint and then search, you'll find this first page. Now you can download this model by choosing here, download all files. And if you've done that, you can open the full assembly in SolidWorks, which I've got over here, and you can rotate the model. But now I'm going to show you how to assemble this, how to assemble this model. So this is the first part, and I'll choose file make assembly from parts. And I'll choose OK over here. The first part will be standing there, and then I can just drag all the other parts inside the assembly. So I can uh, drag, for example, this sub assembly inside to the full assembly, and I'll choose the default configuration and then some other parts as well so these ones I've got there in the sub-assembly and then I need this one and this one this and also the pin and I need two versions of the pin the long version but also the short version so I'll control drag it to copy it and then I'll change the configuration to short and control drag it again to create another short pin so now I'm going to start mating all these components together this one to this one the default mates are usually the ones that I need. So this one is coincident, and these two should be concentric. I can just drag it up a little and then choose a mate between this face and this face, which shouldn't be coincident because it doesn't work, but parallel does work. The faces are not exactly the same distance from the center, and now I'll need a mate here coincident like that then I need some extra mates for this part so I'll just continue keep the mating here the same menu over there and then I'll need an advanced mate which is width mate to align these two faces to these two faces which is a convenient way of creating a, a nice alignment over there the distance is equal all right and then continue, I'll need a mate between this one and this one and it should be concentric so the same the same center of rotation and then another one, I'll need again an advanced mate and again a width mate for the same situation over here so this face and this face should be aligned to this face and this face alright, you can rotate now I think. Hi. And now I'll continue with the with the mate. So create a mate over there and there. And that should be in this case parallel. Alright. And if I look I can't I can't use the coincident mate because if I look from the side and I zoom in, there's a small gap between those two. So then I'll continue mating the pins inside assembly and then I'll finish. So this one and this one should be concentric and this one and this one should be mated together. Then these two small pins, this ones and then this and this. And the last one is uh, the best thing to put the pin roughly already in the correct position otherwise uh, you'll get some strange situations that the wrong area is selected for example if I choose this one and this one you see that's mm, oh, in this case it's alright it chose the right uh, the right way of mating these two pins together so now I'm fi finished I can rotate the assembly and what I can see is that they actually collide I will see that I've uh, used the move component and then collision detection I can use it to stop the components when they collide if they start rotating I see these faces highlighting so they're actually bumping into each other and I can fix that by generating a fillet to one of those parts so I'll open the parts all right, and use a fillet over there and over there save the file and go back to the assembly and if I try this again use the move component and then collision detection now they shouldn't collide anymore so and this is correct so 
Now I fix the problem of the parts running into each other. And that's uh, assembling the universal joint.